to section number seven, in which we will check out how can we uh, estimate physical properties in Aspen Plus. So many times we don't have parameters or physical properties in the data banks, maybe because it's a very inexplored material or maybe because the component does not even exist in the databases. But Aspen Plus allows us to make some rough calculation in order to model this. And we can select via the molecule editor in which we state the molecule, then Unifac will calculate the interaction between the groups. Or we can do it also by adding some property estimations tools. And if you're using a non-conventional uh, component, you can still add some relevant data in order to be able to model that. Let me see a little bit more here. The user defined component wizard is your best friend because you just need to open this. It will uh, ask you or prompt you to show if this is a conventional, a solid or non-conventional material. It will require you at least to show you the normal boiling point, molecular weight, or if possible, the molecular structure. This is enough in order to start a minimum required simulation and estimation of parameters. Then what I really want to show you guys is that the molecule editor is a tool that is very helpful. So we're going to work with that as well. I have maybe two, three workshops related to that. And well, essentially this is the most powerful part of Aspen Plus that you can get physical properties by estimation without going to the field and doing experimentation, uh, the vapor liquid curves, you don't need to do that. You just go here at the molecular structure and if possible relevant data and you simulate it and of course the more data you add the better estimations you get.